Hello, I am Kim Miller from Woman at the Well Ministries, and I am so excited that you've decided to spend these next few moments walking through the scriptures with me. Today, we're going to read out of our angelgram book, and we're going to read the angelgram, Ask, Seek, and Knock. You see, this Christian life that we live, it's an action-filled life. And those of you that might think that Christians are bored and Christians are never having any fun and there's no excitement, oh, come listen to this. For with Jesus, there's great excitement and there's joy. The Bible says in 1 Peter 1, 6, to be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. And I can say that in all confidence because we're getting ready to walk through the scriptures in Luke chapter 11, verses 9 and 10. And I know that when we go through the scriptures, we no doubt are going to have great joy and a wonderful time. Good morning. Wow, what a moment this is. You are reading this devotion just minutes before you begin your day in the Lord. When you walk through your day to day, many eyes will focus upon you, admiring your Christian walk and witness. The Bible says in Luke chapter 11, verses 9 and 10, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. What a promise! We seek, we find. We knock, it'll be opened. What a promise when we ask. He will answer. Our heavenly spot father spoke these words. He told us we had the right to ask and to seek. Asking requires thought and some motivation, but seeking requires diligent thought and deep motivation. God is here waiting for us to get to know him, waiting for us to ask for his help and to seek his guidance. He promises to give us all that we need if only we ask. Perhaps that promise that if we knock, he will open scares us. After all, it will require moving. No, probably not physically, but definitely spiritually. We will be required to move closer to him, to move about his will and to move where he leads. Yes, when seeking you find, but it requires a perfect heart. A heart focused on him and full of his knowledge. The rewards of seeking him are limitless. However, the cost of not seeking him is disastrous. And our angel to angel chat today, no doubt your future is bright. They say the sky is the limit for you, dear friend, but they are wrong. Your faith is all that will limit you, and I'm sure that means you have no limits. You know the Father well, and he is very real to you. Seek him early and seek him often. He will never leave you nor forsake you, and he is ever near. Guess what? Your friends and family will always be near as well. They are very thankful for you. Remember, God loves you. You are loved. And our key thought, the Father is waiting for you to make a move towards him. The ball's in your court. What are you going to do today? God bless you, and may you always know his presence in your life. Thank you.